guys, welcome to our 80s life. Today we are gonna show you filming locations from RoboCop 2. Our journey today begins at the Old River Oaks Theater here in Houston, Texas. This is where the world premiere for RoboCop 2 was held on June 20th, 1990. RoboCop 2 was filmed in Houston in the fall of 1989 through January of 1990. All but two minutes of screen time were filmed right here in Houston. All right, let's go find those filming locations. Let's go. RoboCop opens at the corner of Prairie and Main, and right behind us is where the bag lady's cart gets hit by a vehicle, and then a guy, you think he's a good Samaritan, comes along to help her, then he robs her. After the guy robs the bag lady, he's walking down Prairie, and right here is where he gets beat up and robbed by the two prostitutes. <laughs> Street, this white building behind us was featured in the movie, but it was painted all black, boarded up, and it had neon graffiti on it. If you watch the movie, you definitely would recognize it, but now it looks way different. So after the prostitutes rob the guy, they're walking down Prairie Street, and they pass the wig shop, which is 914 Prairie, which is the lease, so if you're looking for a space, here you go. 912 was the movie theater. Okay, so that's this one. It was a adult movie yeah. theater. Then the ladies kept walking past 910, which was the gun shop. And you can call right after they walk by, the place explodes because it's in the process of being robbed by like these thugs. Nick's Gun Shop is really Day 6 Coffee Shop. So I think we should go and get some coffee. Or at least I should. Keith doesn't like coffee, but I love to try a local coffee shop. Let's go. Got my caffeine fix. Day 6 Coffee Company. Um, All right, so Nick's Gun Shop was here at 910 Prairie. And then right across the street, in this little alley here, is where the thugs that were about to rob the place were hanging out when they blew up the front of it. So they go in to Nick's and they're robbing the place. They steal a grenade launcher. They come outside and here comes the police car. Robocop's coming down from this direction. They hit him with a rocket launcher at this corner. His car flies through the air and then lands right here. Then they hit him with another one, and then RoboCop gets out and they knew they were in trouble. So right here is where we first see RoboCop in RoboCop 2. Behind us are the beautiful Elder Street Artist Loft, but it used to be Jefferson Davis Hospital. This abandoned hospital was the perfect location for the nuke lab in RoboCop 2. They also used it in the scene where Kane and his gang bring Duffy after he double-crossed them. They bring him here, they knock him out, they put him on the stretcher, they strap him down, and then they cut him open while he's alive. Eek! Now that part was filmed in the tower. There used to be a tower behind here. It's since been torn down, but that is where they filmed those scenes. We're 
We're standing at the corner of Polk and LaBranch Streets, and where we are now used to be the OCP headquarters building. Unfortunately, now the building is a parking lot for the Toyota Center, but we were able to line up the shot because there are a few existing buildings in the background that we were able to see in the movie. Well, guys, this next location is a little bit of a disappointment. It's Robocop's wife and son's new house. But unfortunately, the house is gone now. It looks like they're building a new place though, and it looks pretty neat. Yeah, it looks really nice. This is a nice neighborhood. Yeah. Okay, so we'll show you the house. This is where it would have been, but it was torn down. A lot of RoboCop was filmed in downtown Houston, and unfortunately, a lot of the things are gone now because of Minute Maid Stadium that came in where the Astros play. And that holds true for the exterior shots at the police station at the corner of Congress and LaBranche. So the police station would have been where this parking lot is now for Minute Maid Stadium. Although the police station is gone, in several scenes right across the street, you can see this historic building behind us. the East End Locks. This is a historic building. It used to be a Mercado, but in the movie, it was the arcade, Ground Zero. This is where Duffy goes to meet Hob, and he's giving him some intel on the police, and he gets a big wad of cash, and he also gets some nuke. Yeah, we see Murphy and Lewis spying on them from across the way, but actually, across the way, it's just a field. So that's a little movie magic for you. But anyway, they spy Duffy, they go and bust him for helping out the bad guys. Behind us is a Budweiser manufacturing plant. This is one of three locations in the movie where they were manufacturing the nuke. The Houston Budweiser plant is currently not offering public tours, so we took to the air instead and flew over with our drone. Hiram Clark Power Plant. This was Kane's headquarters, which was used in addition to the Budweiser plant. In the movie, they referred to it as the Old Sledge Plant. When Robocop arrives here, he finds Kane's headquarters and also this bizarre shrine to Elvis with Elvis's dead body encased in glass. It's so weird. That was so weird. And this was also the really sad part where they dismantled Robocop. Ruskin Fannin, and this was one of the most bizarre scenes of the movie. This is when the coach and his players are robbing the electronics store. It's actually kind of funny, but it's also very, like, sad, I guess, like a sad testament of how bad the city is that the Little League kids are robbing an electronics store. Anyway, the electronics store would have been right behind us. Obviously, it's not anymore. It's just a parking garage. Behind us is the Texaco building. This building you can see from the perspective of the shooter, which was the coach, when the coach was shooting at Murphy and Lewis. We are at the corner of Andrews and Wilson. 
And this is one of my favorite scenes from the movie, even though it's kind of sad because OCP has reprogrammed RoboCop. It's actually hilarious and offers a bit of comedy. He just starts saying really goofy stuff. Yeah, so the kids are playing in the fire hydrant, they're playing in the water, and RoboCop thinks that's wasteful. Waste makes haste, for time is fleeting. All right, unfortunately the fire hydrant is no longer here. All that's left is a hole in the concrete. On the same corner is the United Methodist Church, and that's where there's that one hilarious part where RoboCop shoots around the guy's head that's smoking, and then he says... RoboCop says, thank you for not smoking. And that dude's up against the wall like this, and there's bullet holes all around his head. And this is the exact wall, you guys, right here. There's no bullet holes, though. Movie magic. I think I hear RoboCop coming now. RoboCop is going somewhere right now. <laughs> They're going to kick somebody's ass. They're going to kick somebody's ass. Now we're at the corner of Franklin and LaBranche, and this is where RoboCop comes after OCP reprograms him to be very polite. He comes here and he sticks his hands intentionally into an electrical box and electrocutes the heck out of himself. <laughs> but it works. It fixed him. Got him back to normal. <laughs> steps of City Hall where Mayor Kuzak talks to the press. George R. Brown Convention Center here in Houston. It is an amazing place. And this is where the old man towards the end of the movie is giving the presentation about the new Detroit and what that's gonna look like. And then... Then they introduce RoboCop 2. Which is actually Kane, yeah. spoiler. <laughs> and, then, and then Murphy shows up, Robo, the original RoboCop, mm -hmm. and they have a big old shootout in the General Assembly. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. So we're inside the convention center. There aren't any events happening right now, but the main lobby is open for us to um, have access. And it's we've been walking around. It's really cool here. Yeah. I would love to come to an event here sometime. Yeah. Unfortunately, where they filmed where the General Assembly is on the third floor, and they said no access to the third floor. We asked. <laughs> we were denied. <laughs> I mean, it never hurts to ask. The architecture of the convention center is really distinctive and one thing you'll notice in multiple shots that were filmed here are the portholes throughout the building. This is the Wortham Theater Center, but it plays the part of the Civic Centrum in RoboCop 2. It looks like a big skyscraper, but as you can see, in real life, it's not. Those were matte paintings drawn in to make it look taller than it really is. The Wortham is where we see the final dramatic scenes of RoboCop 2 unfold. Unfortunately, the theater is closed. But there's glass on the front, so let's go take a closer look inside and see what we can find. So these are the escalators at the end of the movie, 
where the old man is coming out of the civic centrum to leave in the limo. In these final scenes of the movie, we see this whole area just swarmed with police, OCP, and media. And one of the features that you notice in the background are these giant spheres that are all throughout the theater district. They're kind of cool. As you can see a balcony. That's where the old man and Johnson were hanging out watching the events between Kane and Robocop unfold. They're a little concerned it's not going to look good for OCP. is the Alley Theater. You'll recognize this in the movie because you'll see the Burgundy OCP banners draped down from it. Let's go take a closer look. All right, right here is the actual spot where Kane gets slammed up against the wall by Lewis with the armored vehicle. We all think Kane is dead, but he's really not. So him and Robocop have a showdown at the end, and Robocop's in with pulling his brain out of his armored shell and slams it in the road. Something like this, and it was actually right beside this manhole cover right here. She goes. She goes. And that's a wrap for RoboCop 2 filming locations. In case you missed it, be sure and watch our RoboCop 1 filming locations in Dallas. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel.